you be kind enough to escort Dr. Lord out of here? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the interruption. Thank you for the patience, and we will soon resume the meeting. Get your hands off me. I would appreciate an answer to my question, Mr. Buchanan. So would I. This woman has made a serious allegation. One that I would be very happy to substantiate. Dr. Lord, you're saying that Clint Buchanan has been defrauding the shareholders? Is that why you want to remove Mr. Buchanan? Is this a cover-up? Oh. There is no cover-up. There is no fraud. Then why not let us speak? Mm. Go ahead, Dorian. Speak your mind. Thank you. Maybe I am. Thanks so much. As Buchanan Enterprises shareholders, I'm sure you're aware that Buchanan Enterprises has a rather unique structure. As per Asa Buchanan's wishes and the company charter, the board is comprised solely of family members. Well, I am very sorry to have to report to you, but the family has been perpetrating a fraud. Jared Buchanan, B.E.'s newest board member, is not Asa Buchanan's son. In fact, he isn't a Buchanan at all. What? Jared Buchanan is an imposter, and I can prove it. Jared Buchanan came to this town with one goal in mind, to infiltrate Buchanan Enterprises, and he succeeded. My questions are simple. Did the Buchanan family know that Jared was brought in as a ringer? We gotta get her out of here. And was he brought in simply to avoid a takeover? It's gonna look real bad. Worse than it is now? These are questions that demand answers. And if the family did not know, and this young man perpetrated this hoax all on his own, then I ask you, is not the board of B.E. guilty of gross mismanagement? I do not mean to impugn the reputation of the entire Buchanan family. Surely Ace's grandsons, now residing in London, cannot be blamed. Well, that's bigger. But the heads of the company? <laughs> Where were they when Jared was assuming control of key divisions and signing Where his is name she to all this? great big I think she's checks. pulling it right out of her hat. I don't know about the rest of you, but I really would like to know. Are my shares safe? Well, Why aren't they yeah. yeah. most done with us? No, maybe because they don't need us. I never did trust the guy. Did you? The problem is I was starting to. You have to give this young man points for worming his way into such a powerful family. But does the ability to lie, cheat, and deceive give him the right to manage our money? No. 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 You know what, Dorian? You're the one who can't be trusted. You've always had it in for our family. Jared is a terrific executive. Uh, that's right. And, and he's just as much Buchanan as I am. Oh, you better hope not, dear. Because if he is Ace's son, then your sister is sleeping with her uncle. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Natalie, oh, no. tell her she's wrong. Yes, Natalie, please disabuse us of this disturbing scenario. Natalie. How long have you been having an affair with the man who claims to be your uncle? Oh, yes. Mr. Buchanan, please, oh. a comment for our reader. My God, it's true. Do you see how upset you've made your sister by having this tawdry affair under her nose? Oh, and really, how could you allow this imposter to fleece your own family? Right, that's enough. Get her out of here. I'm sorry I take no pleasure in telling the truth, but I thought that the shareholders had the right to know. Excuse me, I would be very happy to leave unless, of course, the shareholders want me.
to stay. I don't know about all of you, but I want to hear what this woman has to say. This woman and the lies that she's tossing around could do real damage to our share price. They are not lies, and I can prove it. Miss Stewart, this is Pamela Stewart, the woman who said that she and Asa Buchanan were Jared's parents. Miss Stewart, why don't you tell the shareholders what you told me? I'm uh, Pamela Stewart Buchanan, and first I, I want to make an apology to the family. I have known Jared for a long time, and I am very fond of him. So when the opportunity came to help him, I, I just couldn't say no. I know that Asa would be very proud to have a, another son as smart and talented as Jared is. So I lied. I told everyone that Asa and I, that Jared was ours. When the truth is that his mother is a very good friend of mine, Valerie Banks, and the father is a man called Charlie Banks. Some of you may know him as Charlie Balsam. Charlie's your father. Answer me. Don't say anything. What? So it's true. I mean, I knew that he was a Rex's father. Mom told me that much. But Charlie Banks is your father? I'm sorry. What did you just say? I think I had better answer this. It turns out that the man you know as Charlie Balsam, I'm sorry, he's not Charlie Balsam, he's Charlie Banks. And he is not your long lost father. He's Jared's.